Richard Ansaldua. And what company are you with? I'm with HCCO at uh, Hill Country Truck Off Association. Oh, cool. Uh, San Marcos, Texas. That is my uh, nonprofit organization in San Marcos. Oh, awesome. And, uh, we, uh, um, how do you say it? We, we, give, we sponsor or donate to Make a Wish. Oh. Um, we also, I also host barbecue cook offs, uh -huh. coordinate host cook offs. I have one coming up in October, which is a, a really big one. Um, it's at Lockhart City Park. Um, it, during last year, we brought in 175 teams. Wow. It is uh, one of the biggest in Texas. Uh -huh. uh, and then we were able to, to add of that uh, cook off of the, the, I guess, the rewards of it. Um, we gave $10,000 memory of my grandson, uh -huh. Eliza B. Okay, and then the other thing we do is I sell barbecue products. Awesome. Um, everything, really mostly are competition products. Uh -huh. I sell them the injections, rubs, um, about just about anything these guys are using mm -hmm. in the barbecue circuit. So, uh, you know, that's what I do. So we also compete in mm -hmm. the circuit. And uh, we go around all over Texas uh, promoting my cook off in October or promoting the business and making my way of living. Uh -huh. this. Well, and how many um, barbecues then do you do a year? Oh, we do at least three a month. Oops. We do at least three a month. Wow. We do a lot. Um, we, we go all over Texas. Uh, this next, well, actually, the 18th of this month in August. Well, um, we're going to Santa Rosa, Texas, downtown, which is a, a different cook off up there. Mm -hmm. We've gone, we've, we've probably hit all corners of Texas, you know, at one time or another. Mm -hmm. um, we start um, promoting and, and going to the cook off. Probably the first, the first one is probably in Austin, which is Chili Chili. Um, we go to that one and then we just go to the circuit to wherever. It's, it's, it's a way of life. Well, and how long did you say you've been doing this? Uh, I actually been hosting my that took off this year would be my fourth year. Wow. Yeah. So I, I mean, it started off uh, when back in 2004 I had 13 teams, and now it's just grown up to uh, you know one of the biggest took off in Texas. Wow. So it's, it's 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 a way of life. People are just. Uh, you know, just around around us, the, the guys we have people that came all the way to Houston, you know, to come, you know. It's more of a camaraderie, and we call it the barbecue brotherhood. So, uh, you know, there's, the, there's another cook right there, shine the light on him, watch him, though. Watch him. Hey, come here, dude. He's one of my best customers. Lion G barbecue. Uh, Ira Green. Uh, uh Bear, Texas. Cool. He's been, cooking a long, he's been cooking a long time today. He's picking up the pork pachanga. Ah. Really good. It's a winner, so we're gonna try it out. There you go. Other than that, he has an array. You go broke trying to use all the <laughs> ones he carries. It's like a walking internet right here. It's lovely. <laughs> They, they support my, my family and, and myself, and it's, uh, this is all I do, and, and, and it's my passion, uh -huh. you know, meeting people with him, and being, being the barbecue running of So it's about. And when somebody, if one of us gets sick, or we, somebody needs help, we all get together, and we do fundraise for them, or we do everything, you know, what we can to help them, we can get back up, and you know, we see them, that's, that's brother, mm -hmm. that's Awesome. That, that's basically what cooking is all about. Because you'd be crazy if you'd be out here at 103 degrees.